Hey, hey, hey. What's up, everybody? All right, so I'm back. I'm back with another, uh, I guess I should probably start calling them episodes, huh? Uh, another episode of I'm Not Giving You Unsolicited Advice. And today's conversation is about people who are triggered. Triggered by what you say or how when they take what you say and take it out of the context and make it something else completely. <laughs> so I'm going to start with saying this phrase and I'm going to repeat it a couple of times because it is powerful and I want to make sure everybody listening understands the gravity of this statement. All right. You being triggered by me does not mean that I triggered you. Let me say that one more time. Your being triggered by me does not mean that I triggered you. All right. One more time. Your feelings, your being in your feelings about being triggered by me does not mean that I'm the one who made you feel triggered. Have you ever encountered a constantly triggered person before? Just everything agitates them. Everything irritates them. Like, I, I, I like to call these kinds of people walking on eggshells. That, that's how I like to refer to it. When you're dealing with someone like that, it doesn't matter how how tactful, how calm, how peaceful you try to be, it's not going to matter. That person has made a conscious decision to be triggered, even if they don't recognize it. Even if they're kind of living in a state of fight or flight, or a state of freeze, which I sometimes forget to talk about. A state of freeze when you're stuck somewhere and can't think clearly. Um, when, you, when, you do, when you're dealing with someone like that, every answer is wrong. It doesn't matter <laughs> how you go about it. It doesn't matter if you have the best of intentions the best delivery, none of it matters. And I have so many examples that I have witnessed of this. The person is not ready to receive anything because they are in a state of constantly being triggered. So with that being the opening and with this podcast being about being given unsolicited advice. I have a couple more examples that I want to go through today. So the first one I'm going to say is I'm going to talk about why I'm glad that I choose to say something when others don't. Perfect example. This was a couple of jobs ago. There was a there was a girl that I worked with. Uh, she was basically a troublemaker. She was a troublemaker. She did whatever she wanted. Yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. And the funny thing is she came, the area she came from, she complained about everyone else like they were the problem, right? Now, mind you, I got to experience firsthand with her that she creates problems out of nowhere. So basically every person she talked about has an alibi, as far as I'm concerned, uh, to this day. You know, not that I would care to talk to anyone about it, but I just, for that being, to drive the point home of what I'm saying is when you're dealing with someone who doesn't want any kind of advice, there's nothing you can do. This particular instance, what was happening is 
uh, like training was an issue. And um, I was, I was kind of considered the go-to guy in the area. And people would come and ask me questions and stuff. And I remember one day her saying, you know, it's not your job to train them. And I'm just sitting there looking at her like, if I don't tell them how to do this. And I, I just, I remember I was getting ready to ask her this, but I didn't because it, I would have gotten an attitude and it wouldn't have, it would have gotten worse. So I just left it alone. But looking back, she was telling me not to help people with their work. But the funny thing is, she wouldn't have to correct it. I would. She was lazy and didn't do anything. It's just a shame the kind of things that people can get away with. Um, she was doing whatever she wanted. She's telling me not to help people or quote unquote give people unsolicited advice, right? They didn't ask for help, right? I was discerning that they needed help because I could tell they were doing it incorrectly and that when they turned it in, it would end up on my desk. <laughs> so you can call that unsolicited advice if you want. Again, as with other videos or, or my other podcast, being discerning and being a caring human being is not considered unsolicited advice. And the world needs to stop saying that. So long story short, you know, those people, they, they remember me. You know, I ran into some of them recently. They remember, if you've ever had the pleasure to work with me, and you were not just some person who just made things difficult, if you were about getting work done and you were non-drama, we were cool. I can go back at every job I've had. I can always go back to those few people from my memory bank. You know, we were cool. If you were there for work and you were trying to just do stuff and get it done, do your job right. Though Those are my favorite kind of people. So, you know, so with this particular situation, you know, giving unsolicited advice I, I see now that that's what she was saying. She was telling me to stop giving them unsolicited advice because they didn't ask for it. Now, now that I'm away from that situation, I do see, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. looking back, I do see that it was kind of dangerous for me to do that because I was basically setting myself up for if someone else didn't do something correctly or if they decided to twist what I said and make it fit something that I didn't say. Now, do I care about that? No. But now that I'm away from that kind of situation, I see why it probably would have been safer for me to not do anything but the kind of person that I am, if I can tell you're not doing something right, I'm going to tell you so you know. That way you don't have to waste your time. And some people do want to waste their time. So, you know, you have to treat it as a case by case basis. But I, th I thought of that one first because it was, what, what do you call it when you give someone help they didn't ask for, but they appreciate it. You see what I'm talking about? You can call that unsolicited advice all you want, but you and I both know you needed help and that no one's really gonna help you with it. And that's probably why, also why my supervisor at that time didn't like me because uh, literally one of the ladies in front of him said, no, that's okay, I'll just come and talk to you when I have a question. Like he tried to say that he would answer it and she basically like dismissed and like waved him away and and asked for me to come back over. <laughs> so that's one example that's funny. Um, you know, authentic people are gonna remember authentic people. It doesn't really matter how how things end. That that doesn't matter. So 
That being said, I'm glad that I took the time out to care enough about what someone else was doing to help them. Because I think part of the problem with the world is people get so self-centered and so self-absorbed. They focus only on themselves that they don't consider anyone else. And I do know that being this kind of person is going to it's going to come at my expense again in my life in some way, but I will never regret that. So on the one hand, the people over there were saying, thank you for caring and showing me how to do it. On the other end, someone else was, someone was saying that I was giving them unsolicited advice because they didn't ask for it. So I'm gonna let you choose uh, which one you think is correct. So, um, that's one example. So the other example I was thinking of today, uh, this was uh, this was quite a few years ago now. You know, like when you have someone, again, so like in my last video, when you have someone who's about to um, make a decision that really is their own decision, like it's not my decision, I'm not the one being impacted, but sometimes when you're in life, you can't see yourself clearly. You do need someone else to tell you how you appear, how you look, or you'll just keep going around hurting people, causing problems and making a mess. I don't know how to make that sound any different. That really is the fact of the matter of life. So, and also kind of coupling in what I said earlier about having someone around that's constantly triggered. So if you have this kind of person who they're just kind of not, I don't want to say that they're not there, but they've been conditioned to a certain way of thinking and a certain way of behaving. So it doesn't really matter how you, how caring you try to present yourself to the other person. If they really think that what you were saying is unsolicited advice, they they're irritated because you were telling them something that they didn't ask for. They will tell you that. So uh, with this particular instance that I'm thinking of, um, you know, it, it's one of those situations where honestly looking back I prob I wish I hadn't said anything but I'm glad that I chose to again like I said I I feel better about myself because I'm caring enough to point out what someone else may not notice so um yeah, you know, so for this particular instance, it wasn't received well. And later, she realized that I was correct and that the person who that was trying to help her wasn't. You have to be careful with the cover or the mask that people have sometimes. <clears throat> Excuse me, because she had gotten in her head and told her all of these kinds of things that I'm not trustworthy and that I don't do my job right or whatever. But later she got to experience, and I happened to be nearby for this conversation, and I was glad, this was years ago now. She got to see the difference between what I told her to do and what the other person said. Everything that she was told was wrong, and then she got to hear that everything I told her was the correct way to do it. It just wasn't the, day, the way that everyone else was doing it. So um, I remember the look on her face and when she turned and looked at me and I just kinda, you know, I just kinda looked back and was like, I'm not gonna do that for you anymore is kinda what I felt like, you know? I'm not going to put myself in a situation where I'm trying to help you, you're going to believe someone who doesn't respect me or doesn't talk about me correctly. You're going to experience them 
not being trustworthy at all. You're going to see that I am trustworthy and then try to come back. There's a boundary there now. So I'll help you with stuff. But honestly, I realized even now, because back then at that time, I had already learned that lesson because I, I see it in myself now. When she had a question, I didn't answer it. I sent her to someone above me to, you know, to protect myself. So uh, with, <laughs> again, with reference to unsolicited advice, she may have taken it that way. Me telling her to do something the correct way. I didn't ask you to tell me how to do my job. That's basically what she said, right? I didn't ask you how to tell me to do, I didn't ask you to tell me how to do my job. She went to someone else, thought they were so great, found out that she wasn't. And then it was kind of it was just kind of awkward the remainder of the time. It was kind of like the look on her face was like, yeah, I made a mistake and I'm I'm all for you know, no one's perfect. I'm all for, you know, when mistakes happen, everybody's going to make them. But for me, there's also the how behind it that I have to remember. Because, you know, it was a day's worth of backhanded comments, laughing and pointing. You know what I mean? And then suddenly, oh, wait, he was right. I probably should have trusted him. Let's be friends. No. So, um, that's another one of those examples where, like I was saying, you know, you can, it doesn't matter how you present your information to this person. If they're in a state of being triggered or constantly being triggered, or if they aren't comfortable enough in their skin to be able to determine who is and who is not worth listening to, they could become, they could take on the triggering of another person that isn't theirs. And I've seen that plenty of times in life. So she basically borrowed this other person's triggers towards me for an entire day only to find out that none of the triggers were valid. How about that? You see what I mean? You see why I've created this podcast? Not everything that people are telling you is unsolicited advice. Sometimes people are just trying to look out for you. Because let me tell you, the average person doesn't. And it must be... It must be the good reaping of what I've sowed because the place I'm at now, I have someone who looks out for me like that and it's wonderful and I really appreciate it I could never imagine telling this person who has helped me from day one that they are giving me unsolicited advice I can't imagine me ever saying that that would be that would be silly right and, and that would change the dynamic don't you think no knowing how to listen to what someone is saying and to see the truth in it, the benefit in it, and to really, really listen to what's being said and being able to tell that it's beneficial for you, there's nothing like that. So uh, for to wrap up today's podcast, I just want to go back to the very beginning. I'm going to rewind it one more time. Someone else's being triggered by your presence does not mean that you triggered them. They have something else going on and it is their job. It is their life. It is their responsibility to make sure that the decisions that they are making with regard to other people, to the advice they might be given, it is their job it is their decision it is their life it is their responsibility to, to to be in charge of their decisions and their behavior because those who don't can take on the triggers of others and they will start
behaving in a manner that isn't even for them. With regard to it being unsolicited advice, caring, caring is not the same as unsolicited advice. The average person probably won't say anything. So if you're listening to this and you have someone that's trying to tell you something and they are genuinely concerned and they're not trying to set you up and they're just trying to look out for you, please, you need to listen. And if you need to, be humble enough and go back to that person and tell them that you want to hear what they said again because you really weren't in the headspace to listen that time. Think about what people are telling you. Are they really giving you unsolicited advice or are they simply just looking out for you? It is imperative for you to be able to determine whether it's true or not.